Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Tennis Open. I almost said Pokemon. In the last episode, we did the third special game, Galaxy Rally, unlocking the Luma character and getting an actual ton of coins. In this episode, I want to finish off the doubles tournaments for the basic ones and uh, get them onto the Star Open as well. And I'm not exactly sure who I want. I kind of want to put in Yoshi because, you know, he's my boy. And we could play with Luma, just because we just unlocked her. We've been showing off a lot of the characters we just unlocked, so might as well stick with the scene. Also, I didn't realize it, but they actually pair up the uh, the partners in this game. I noticed in Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, they don't do that. So it's just surprising I didn't rem remember that in this game, they do do it. Also, wow, look at that. It's refreshing to have an actual good opponent, or a good partner. Because, once again, I believe the partner is the same skill level as... Oh. Oh, I thought Luma was going to smash it. Uh, the partners are the same level as the opponents. And being in the Champions Cup, I believe they're not a pro yet. I want to say they're on hard difficulty. Whatever that may be. I'm not sure what the, you know, the terminology for it is in this game. Because it, it varies from game to game. We will be getting Ace, as you can probably imagine at the end of the star open. So that's going to be, we get a costume by doing an exhibition match with an ace character. That's gonna be something we do a long time from now. And I don't, sh I'm not exactly sure what costume we get for it, but uh, we won't be getting it for a while. Also, this is going to actually probably be our first difficult tournament for the fact that it's doubles, so it's inherently harder than singles just because you have to get it around two characters instead of one. And, you know, it's Champions Cup, so it's going to be, so far, the hardest we've had so far. And we do get the first game, though. This might be a little long, too, because uh, every rally is just going to be longer. We're going to have that five-set match at the end of this, which, given we did have a five-set match at the Banana Cup, apparently I just wasn't paying attention, and it always was a uh, five-set match in that. I don't think that the game ever makes you do a seven set match, cause that's just insane. Um, if it does, it might only be for the finale of the final cup. Other than that, I don't think it does it. I wonder if I could just do a normal lob around Mario and get it through. I didn't trust Luma to use it, so I just ran up there. Yeah, if you, uh, if you get close to where the ball's gonna be, your partner will back off, and that's one of the things I like about this game. In other games, they would always contest you for it which was always annoying. Can you stop? Yeah, you can see, even though he's doing these really powerful chance shots, if I do a flat shot back at it, he will, it will I will have no knockback, basically. So, it's pretty good. The cheap, cheap racket. I have no idea what stats that gives you. I, I want to look into all of the, like, off-character items to see which ones, like, give you the max stats in each thing. Because, like, obviously, who knows what cheap cheap's going to do. Bullet Bill, I'm pretty sure, does give you the highest power in the game. Because I remember specifically looking that up to see if there was like something like that. And it was Bullet Bill. So I do have to wonder also if something gives you like the most trickiness in the game. I'd imagine it'd be just like the Boo costume. I don't know if anything's really outright tricky. Although I could see the Cheap Cheap stuff being tricky. I just don't know if there's more Cheap Cheap stuff beyond the racket. Because some things aren't complete sets for some reason. Wow, that was a quick game. Wario and Waluigi, not the hardest to beat. Also, something I want to point out that's odd, but I kind of like it. Just the color combination we have going between Luma and Yoshi here is kind of appealing to me. Like yellow and green, they're not complimentary or anything, but I just like it. Went for the flat shot there just because I knew they wouldn't be able to return it. Normal lob. Oh no, Wal <laughs> wow. As you can see, Waluigi with his range is able to reach that lob without even jumping or anything. This ain't Ultra Smash. Yeesh. Also, that's something I uh, never even thought of. Lobs are inherently nerfed in Ultra Smash simply for the fact that you can jump for shots now. No, oh, I was expecting him to do that slice. Oh, that's gone. Oh. Luma with the god plays. Nope. They're not hitting it in my direction at all. Oof, Luma is just too good. I guess Luma is pretty quick, so... Stands to reason. It's actually a pretty good character to have as a partner. There you go, Luma kills it. Luma kills the enemies. 
actually murders them. Oh, that. Oh, I thought I hit, held it to the right. Oh, they hit it out. Sure thing. Also, this is going to be a two set one. Three set, but you know. Like the opponent's ever going to get a set on us, honestly. Alright, well, <laughs> there you go. One of the few times the opponents have actually had a higher set score than us. Also, a nice serve from Luma. Really killing it out here today. Yeah, you like you're gonna get that. Whatever. Oh, man, just as every day goes by of me playing this, of doing this Let's Play, it's crazy just to think, oh, another day closer to Mario Aces. Like, what could the game have? Every Mario game has basically had, like, like, we don't know any of the mini games. Uh, obviously, there's another, oh, wow. Obviously, there's going to be the Ink Rally, just because that's in almost every single game. I don't know if Power Tour had it. Uh, admittedly, Power Tour is... Not Power Tour, it's a... Uh... Is it Power Tour? Whatever. Power Tennis. I don't know. Um, it's my least played Mario Tennis game, simply because... I mean, I have really limited access to a GameCube. I used to have one, but it really, like, pooped out on its last few years. In addition to that, not a single console has had GameCube, which is weird because Nintendo has a working GameCube emulator because they uh, they made one for China, basically, because China did not get the... Uh, China doesn't get a lot of the... Uh, oh, whoops. The Nintendo consoles, so they get, like, licensed emulators, and I think it was, like, on the end shield or something like that, where they made a GameCube emulator, so they have a working GameCube em emulator that's pretty much perfect, yet they're still not doing it, and that might be just because they're saving it for the Switch v Virtual Console, I don't know, but whatever. Once we do get Switch Virtual Console, y'all can bet there will be such a higher variety of games played on this channel, just because it's... Oh, wow, they're hitting it out a ton. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because Luma's placement is so good that that Lara, they're like not able to make very good shots. But I don't know. Anyway, once the Virtual Console comes out, there's so much I want to do for like GameCube, because I've only ever done one GameCube Let's Play, and it was uh, that was bad. I don't know how Wario missed it, but whatever. Bad range. Um, I only ever did one GameCube Let's Play, and it was Mario Sunshine, because that's the only game that I could get to work honestly. So, I'm excited to show off more from the GameCube era of games I played, which admittedly wasn't too much, but still. There's a couple of goodies in there. Well, that does it for the second one. We got the Bowser Jr. racket, which will obviously give us a bit of trickiness. Not too much, though, because Bowser Jr. is kind of a mix of a power character and a tricky character. Also, that reminds me, why is Bowser not playing with his son? Come on. Tennis is such a nice father and son game. Let's do it. Level up. Oh my god. Stop this. Thank you. Bowser has okay range, but he can't hit that. Alright. So this is our last game. It's gonna be five... Ooh, I'm surprised that got through. And I also didn't mean to hit it to the left. Um, it's gonna have five sets, so that's uh, three sets for us, basically. Nope, not today. Ah, uh, that should make it. Oh no, Boo's quick. Boo's a quick boy. To the right, to the right, to the right. Yes! There it is. See, the Luma's now, like, very competent. It's hitting the shots exactly well. You could have kind of smashed that one, but it's hitting most of the shots where I want it to hit it. So, it's, it's, it's pretty smart. Not gonna lie. And I am very, very happy with what it's done so far. Use the chance shots. There should just, like, uh... It should be basic knowledge. The AI should... Okay. The AI should always use the chance shots. Like, why not? I'm sure Ace Difficulty will always use the chance shots or something like that. Oh, if I had hit that, that would have been gone. Absolutely gone. Missed that one. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. And we both missed it. We are actually losing this match. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Because that one's going. It's done. Can't get that. Cool. Also, I'm I'm also excited for the Star Cup because oh my god. It gives you some of the uh, the more interesting courts and some of the courts we haven't even played on yet. Like that was way out. 
I don't know how that happened, but it did. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, some of the courts we haven't played on yet, and they have really good music that I really... Did you see that? Really good music. The triple dive. Only Boo can do that. Only Boo doesn't have lag at the end of their dive. I don't... Ghosts don't have gender. Non-binary ghost, I guess. Um, yeah, some of the... I, th I don't think we've played on the sand court. Maybe we have. The ice court we haven't played on, actually. And it is, a. Uh, it has really good music. Like, comparable to the ice court in Mario Hoops 3 on 3. It's pretty nice. Alright, so we did get the first set. Luckily, we didn't lose out a, uh, game to them. We did get our second deuce of the game. I should hit that to the right. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna hit a chance shot that close up. Also, it gives you a smash aces counter. Look at this, boom. You're done. You're done. Oh, it doesn't count as an ace if you... If you hit him with the ball. Interesting. Didn't know that. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Kind of saved it. Nice. Nice shot from the Luma. Once again, killing it consistently. Luma's m Luma may have uh, scored almost as many points as I did. I have. Okay. Luckily, Luma got that one. I just, ha I just have to be careful being in the front, not getting hit with any balls, because that's just my main concern right here. Nope, did not work. I tried. I really did. I shouldn't be trying to charge up a complicated shot against a power character, because they're just going to knock it right on back. Just with how fast the ball is, I'm not going to have enough time to charge it, therefore it's not going to get above the enemy, and it's just going to give them a free smash. That's all things you have to consider when you're charging up a shot. Please, to the right. Oh my god, Luma. You did nothing. That was the most useless volley I've ever seen. <laughs> all right, that's okay, we got this. Right around the boo. Ring around the boozy. All right, just a few more points and we got this. Don't. Out of here. Oh, out of here. There it is. One more point and we get the second set, <laughs> and then we still need a third. I think the uh, the amount of points you need to... I wasn't sure if Luma was going for it or not. Um, the amount of points you need to win a game once you move on to the star open kind of resets. It's not a full reset, but it resets a tiny bit to where it's like the, almost the same as the Mushroom, Flower, Banana, and Champions Cup. So we won't be playing Ultra ultra long matches from here on out or anything like that. I just got hit with the ball. So that's a that's a big relief at the very least. That was one of the things I was worried about when I was playing through the game originally is like, oh great, now every single game's going to be like seven sets. No, not the case. Lucky for us. Oh, Luma, you should have... He hit Pelzer with that. I was like, what happened? I couldn't figure it out. Wow. Oh, that's done. It's gone. Out of there. Love having a power character in the back makes them completely useless and it's gone cool one more game and we've won this tournament as simple as that oh no mm, no no <laughs> just bought just keep on battering them with all these chance shots you gotta feel bad at some point and you're gone what i don't know how he hit it back but whatever that, that feels like that should be beyond the limits of his computer. Yeesh. Alright. Also, you'll notice that the AI isn't quite using characters to their full potential. Because uh, I don't think I've seen Boo do a single slice yet. Oh, okay, well, there's a slice serve. I just didn't recall any slice serves from Boo. Championship point, let's do it. Right over Bowser. Oh, that was so close to actually working. I shouldn't have done it in that direction here. There we go. That is the, that's the cup. That's the entire boy. Diddy Kong shoes. I feel like we've already, no, we have the Diddy Kong wristbands. That's what it was. There you go. That is Yoshi and Luma. Now here's the question. Once again, does it give both of us the star character or is it, it, or is it just Yoshi? Cause I feel like it's just Yoshi. Also, one thing I want to do in between episodes is I'm going to grind out a couple of star characters 
just so we're not stuck with the same two characters when we're doing the star open. And of course we do need to get at least 15 characters to star status before the, we end the game because you know we need to get it for all the costumes. And that unlocks the star Yoshi. I think it's only Yoshi. Yeah, and we got the Fire Mario costume for simply just doing doubles. I'm not sure what the stats on it are, but whatever. And once again, unlocking the star open. Fun, fun stuff. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing. So uh, you don't really have a reason to do doubles in Champions Cup unless you're playing with another actual person in which they'll get the star character as well. But yeah, that's that. So let's check out the clubhouse. I don't think, yeah, we don't have any money, so like no reason to look at that. I do want to check out the stats for the Fire Mario costume though, just because it's a character that we don't have. Uh, okay, that's very average. We don't have the Mario costume. I would love to compare it to that. And it's a bit more power than usual than most characters. So that's cool. So it's kind of a power but balanced character. Interesting. Just interesting, that's all. All right, well, in the next episode, I believe we're just going to go straight on in the tournaments. We, I might show off the exhibition matches in this next episode just because I don't want to take out all the special games already and then be left for the entire star open to do in a row. So we're going to leave a few of those for the future. So see you all then, and goodbye.